Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV. Another quick game of interplanetary ice spy going on here. We're back on Mars. Um, we're going to be looking at two craters today. This one is Jezero Crater with the new rover, Perseverance. And this one here and here is Gale Crater with the older rover, Mars Science Laboratory, otherwise known as Curiosity. Okay, And uh, this stuff's weird. Now, I don't necessarily know what some of these things are. But they're really weird and they got my imagination kind of wandering and wondering what the hell's going on here and the first thing to look at is this thing now this is quite a recent one this is Sol 610 Perseverance and uh, this took me days and days to get this right this just would not join together a lot of these images were too dark and a lot of them were overexposed as I'll show you in a minute and they don't always join up when you try and fit them together okay because they just don't match. But I got there in the end, and this is the result. And um, uh, another sort of mound here with lots of debris in front of it, some interesting looking stuff here, some of it. But then there was this thing down here in front of the mound, down to the left, this thing. Now, I don't know what this is. I'll show you the magnifier uh, because this is just so weird this thing. Now it's obviously made of rock, um, but look at the shape of it. It's got this weird kind of part sticking out here, and it comes down like this. And when you enhance this a bit more, this has already been enhanced a little bit. It's had contrast added and a little bit of color correction, right? Otherwise these go very sort of reddish brown and they're not nice to look at, okay? But I've got it up in here. And this is what it looks like in the raw image, which is very overexposed and almost no shadow. So you can't really see anything very well at all. So I took a clip of that, cranked up the contrast and color corrected it. And when you color correct it, these things go blue because that's what color they are. And uh, there it is. Now, I don't know what it is. I've absolutely no idea, but it's kind of very perplexing because it's got these weird details on it that when you look at it closely, we've got this circular part here. We've got this weird thing sticking out like a beak, but I'm not, I'm not saying it's a beak, but it's just very strange. It, it, it almost looks like a tap, like an ornate bath tap or something. Now in here, we're not, not only do we have a circular part here, but we have what looks kind of like a face carved on this thing with eye detail and possible nose here. You've got this line coming down and some weird detail here and here and down here. I really don't know what this is. Now, of course, this may just be a, a very heavily eroded rock, of course, but um, it's just super weird. And uh, I put this up on the um, Mars Magazine yesterday, I think. I actually found this a, few, a while ago, uh, but it took me a while to do the Gigapan. And uh, that's why I'm only showing you it now. It's very, very strange. I spotted it on the 8th, which was a few days back. And uh, it, it's just super weird. And the more you look at it, you think, well, okay, we know there's erosion on Mars, but actually the erosion on Mars isn't that great because apparently the air pressure is only about... 1% of ours. Now, when you don't have air pressure, wind does not do much damage, okay? Uh, I actually think the air pressure is much higher than that, um, but it's still very, very low. I, still, I actually think it's around 10 or 15%, but it's still too low for erosion to take place quickly. The erosion would take 10 or 10, but somewhere between 10 and 100 times longer on Mars with the conditions as they are. Uh, with the very low pressure, okay? But I have done videos about that, which you can check out, about the air pressure. So that was really weird. I don't know what it is. It may just be a rock. I don't know. But it's very strange. And um, it doesn't make visual sense to me, the way it's hanging over like this. So it's probably attached to something below. Or may just go right down into the ground. We're just seeing the top part of it. It's very strange. So there was that one. This is also something I spotted a while back. Now this is Curiosity Rover, Sol 3645. And there's this thing. 
Now, we've got a nice view, before I show you that, we've got a really nice view of this butte sticking up here with some amazing detail in it, right? Unfortunately, not in colour. We've got this weird spiky thing sticking up here, piece of rock, like a shard of concretion or rock kind of sticking up there. And there's some really nice details in here. And there's probably loads of things I haven't found. So take a look, check the links below and come along and check yourself and use the hover zoom magnifier like I do to show some of these things because there's loads of detail in here. But the main thing is this. Now, this is weird because I've seen this from a few angles. And I'll show you another angle in a minute. This is really odd. This seems to have growth on it, this uh, wallaby rock here. Very strange indeed. It's very green. Now, I haven't added any green to this. All I added was contrast, okay? And that's the colour it goes. Not only is it very odd looking and a very odd colour, like a greeny sort of olivey green colour, very green. It's got these weird bits sticking out here, like here. And I wonder whether some of this is actually growth on here, like moss or some kind of plant growth. Because even when you look at the raw image, which I've got here, all right, let's get rid of that. The raw image, which I have here, as soon as you colour correct it, it's already got quite a lot of green in there, okay? It's very brown, but there's lots of green trying to show through. Now, that, as I've said before, I think the brown filter is a deliberate ploy to actually hide the greens on Mars, because green often indicates plant growth, and it's very easy to hide it using a brown filter like this, like an orangey brown filter, because it just turns everything brown, okay? And uh, it, it, it hides plant growth on these rocks, and I have shown a lot of it before, now, let's look at this one here again. This is the slightly enhanced version. It's been brightened up, contrast added, and that's the colour it goes. It gets even more green, okay? Now, there's another shot of this in this gigapan. Now, this is Curiosity Rover 3642, carbonite nodules or coral, right? Now, here's another shot of that same thing here. But this is a black and white image, and in fact, it's got more detail. They often do. The black and white images actually show more detail than the colour ones. The colour ones are lower quality for some reason. They actually over-compress them. Uh, but you can see that part sticking out here, but no colour, obviously. So when I first saw this in black and white, I thought, well, that's interesting, but not really sure about it. But when you see it in colour, it's a different story, okay? Look how green this is. And uh, a lot of these rocks in this area have this green kind of um, hue to them, okay? Which I think may be moss or some kind of um, low-level plant life living on some of these rocks, okay? So there was that. It's just super weird. And in the nearby area, which you can see in this gigapan, 3642, there's loads and loads of really interesting stuff here. Unfortunately, it's all in black and white, monochrome. But we got some amazing detail here, and we got some crazy stuff. And over here, now what I did, this was super long, this one, and it got too dark at one end. So what I did, I took clips of this area here where we have what looks like a wall or dockside. Now, this long structure goes right along the back here, and is kind of split in sections. It goes on for well, how far? 20, 30, 40 metres, something like that, okay? It probably goes a lot further, but we're seeing the main part of it here. And at this end, we've got some really interesting stuff, which looks like concrete here, layers of concrete here, these fine layers. But in between these layers, we have these nodules, right? Now, geologists that I follow on Twitter and other things have said that these are carbonite nodules, okay? But carbonite nodules don't have these holes in them. They've all, they've all got these kind of little holes. Uh, now, the most interesting part was this here, because this really does look like concrete when you look at it, with layers of fine layers of concrete, okay? 
And if you look around, especially over here, what I've done, I've put brighter versions of this in, in here, so you can see more detail here. There's that thing there. This is really interesting here, this stuff. The way this is formed, it doesn't look like natural rock. It really does look like a, a, um, an ancient dockside or similar structure that's heavily, heavily eroded. And when it was partially submerged underwater, there was stuff like this growing on it, which I think is a type of coral here. Now, if you look at these nodules, they've all got holes in. Most of them have holes in. Now, there are many, many types of coral on Earth, and this is what dead coral looks like, okay? You get nodules, you would have plants, kind of little living creature-type plants coming out of the end of each of these nodules. What I'll do, I'll put some comparative images in, in a minute, but there's a lot of this stuff in this area, and these nodules have all got these holes in the end. And uh, I think this, what we're looking at here, there's a load of them here, see? Look at all these, like little cups. Loads of them, like little cups on the end of these nodules. Now, a lot of this is heavily eroded, of course. I appreciate that, but there's some nice ones here. See these? They look like little circles everywhere. Now, I don't think these are just parts of the rock that's eroded away. A lot of it is, of course heavily eroded, but I think a lot of these nodules with holes in them, these hollow nodules, are actually coral. There's a, a row of them there, they're like little cups in a row. These look organic, okay, and they're all along this kind of ridge or dock side wall because, as I've shown before many, many times, dozens and dozens of times, there are boat wrecks, there are all sorts of things in this area that's, which indicate this was a dock area okay and there was water here we know that and I've shown many many things that are water eroded and things like vessels and broken up boats and ships in this area of Gale Crater I'll put a link to that playlist at the end check the links at the end of the video there will be links to relevant material okay also check the links below I'll show in a minute, I'll show some comparative images as well. But this is interesting stuff because not only do we have concrete, but we have what looks like evidence of coral here, which is one of the many examples I've shown before. But this was the best bit here. You can see dozens and dozens of rows of these nodules with little holes in. Okay? They're there. And they're all over this ridge, which looks to me like a dockside or part of a similar structure which was once at least partly submerged underwater. Okay, so we've got a bunch of things to look at there. There's that one, there's 3642 with the coral. There's this one with a close up of this weird green rock with strange parts sticking out of it. And like I said, you can see that on this one as well. And you can see it in black and white in more detail here. Now, it's just super weird. There's another weird one up here as well. This is weird, but we haven't got a colour version of this here. Very strange. And uh, if you check my main page on my Gigapan page, um, there's loads of new ones that I've been working on. I've been, I was a bit ill recently. I'm almost better. Uh, my voice is starting to go, <laughs> as it kept doing before, which is why I wasn't doing that many videos. My voice kept going. Um, but come and check out the main page here of my Giga Macro site. There's loads of new Gigapans to check out. Even though I've been ill, I've been beavering away behind the scenes, doing loads and loads of stuff. And there's loads of big Gigapans and smaller ones here. Some have got amazing detail in them. Some are really quite stunning. Some of them have got really, really good detail in, like this one. And there's a few interesting things here that people have pointed out as well that look like bricks and stuff like that, bricks and stonework. So there's lots of architectural fragments, there's lots of weird things on the ground, strange objects which we don't understand, like that weird thing I showed you first. And there's some really amazing views like this one. Now, unfortunately, this is black and white, but this shows Mount Sharp, a view of the structures on Mount Sharp up here. You can see one here and one sticking up there, which is very strange indeed, this one. 
which I think was part of its shower, okay? And uh, I've done an enhanced clip of that so you can see it better, just here. There's one structure there and there's that strange one sticking up there. In fact, I spotted these years and years ago, about back in 2014 or 15, I think. And here's the original video. Now this is what it looks like here from Seoul 1099. We had a much closer view of these structures and that's what it looks like. It's got perfect right angles in it. So this is a ruin, like an old ancient castle or structure that's all dilapidated. And there are many views of this. And uh, I was the first person to spot it and post it many years ago. So this is a really cool one. So check this one out as well. And check out the main page. There's loads of new stuff to see and uh, loads of interesting things along these ridges. And these um, things I've been showing you in fact, there's another view here of that, that object. And you can see how much these things stick out, like here, okay? And we've got some very strange stuff going on in these rocks, which looks possibly like eroded metal here. It looks like the layers of rock have eroded away, exposing metal parts or something similar in between the layers as it's eroded. Look at this. Amazing detail in this one. And uh, we don't get many colour ones from the, the Curiosity Rover now for some reason. And I think it's because there's a lot of moss on these, uh, on some of these rocks and they don't want to show it. And uh, that's why we're predominantly getting black and white images. And with the Perseverance Rover, we get very overexposed images. If I show you a raw one, this is how they look raw, and they're very light. You can see everything nicely, but they're, what you have to do with these is take clips and crank up the contrast, and then you'll see these shapes really come to, to life and uh, pop out much more. I mean, this one wasn't too bad, but some of them are really pale, like I showed you here with this uh, image here. It's so overexposed, this area, you wouldn't actually see that unless you enhanced it. Okay, so thanks for watching everybody. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, check out the links and clips coming up now.